Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mm. I just want to be me. Heavenly Father, I come before you this moment to acknowledge your presence in this room. And Father God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will use me, use my mouth, use my mind, or God, use my heart, Lord Jesus, to touch anyone that may come in contact with this video, Lord God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that whomever may hear and are in the position of need that you will provide you will give strength you will enrich lord god you will protect and keep lord god i pray and ask you lord jesus for you to order my steps lord god let me be obedient to your word and i pray lord god that you will fill my heart fill my mouth with words and i will speak as you have given me utterance I thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity as I say thanks in Jesus' name. Hello Amen. and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Francine. Here on the Globe Code, we focus on faith, self-improvement, life, and style. Some little fashion and beauty in between somewhere, but I'm here to inspire, encourage, and empower individuals to become the very best version of themselves whatever the best version looks like. So thank you for stopping by. If at the end of this, this is the content that you do like, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up so that I can know that you appreciate and love content like this or topic, which is letting go. And I was thinking about this. I don't know, like I was thinking about this today of how important letting go is in any aspect. Of our lives and letting go the, the thought of letting go sometimes can seem scary and can sometimes feel daunting but letting go is so important letting go is the beginning of a new journey a new chapter and taking new steps in life today we're going to talk about letting it all go and becoming a better you we know that letting go isn't easy and starting over is even much harder i had to do both letting go and start over and not once twice or three times i had to do that several times throughout my lifetime some things i had to let go of were physical and emotional abusive relationships from past partners resentment towards my family my parents relatives pain from the past trauma from the past bitterness unforgiveness hurt anger all of it I had to let it all go. Even though my response to every situation was justified, it wasn't doing me any good and it certainly wasn't good for me. So I had to do some introspection and learn quickly that in order for me to move on with and have a better life and have a better scenario, I had to quickly let go of all those things because they weighed so heavily on me and in order for me to move forward, I had to let go of that extra baggage. And that's one thing you need to understand. You're trying to change, you're trying to do better, but you wanna take the old mess with you, it's not gonna work. You have to let go of all that extra baggage and free yourself from all the shackles because it's literally shackles. You're holding yourself hostage. Like you're imprisoning yourself, holding on to those things and wanted to move forward. And today, I beseech you to let go of all of those things that are holding you back from becoming the best version of yourself, that's holding you back from becoming the best you. Whatever the best you looks like, you owe it to yourself to meet that person. That is my objective in life, to meet the best version of me. Like Francine, what does the best version of you look like? I wanna meet her. I wanna see her. Letting go of negative thoughts, emotions, or past experience can be challenging, but it's an important step towards your personal growth and finding peace and happiness. You owe that to yourself. Here are a few steps that you can take to help you to let go. Number one is prayer. Prayer is the key to getting you through some of the hardest times. And prayer has been my saving grace. Establishing a relationship with God where I can go to him, my heavenly father, with all my problems, 
knowing that I'm never going to be judged, knowing that he's going to embrace me with love and open arms. I feel so good after praying to God and telling him about my worries and telling him about my problems and telling him about what I'm going through, things that I can trust him with, things that I can't trust other people with, because I know that it's a safe space and I know that he is safe. And prayer, some people may not believe in prayer because they're like, who are you praying to? I mean, I believe that when I'm praying, I'm praying to God and God is working it out for me. Remember, God is omniscient. He's omnipresent and he's omnipotent. He knows all things, sees all things everywhere at all times. So who's best to go to when you need help in a certain situation and you need a change in your life? Prayer is the key to open doors. Prayer is the key to close some doors that you shouldn't be open. Prayer is the key to a better life, uh, happiness, joy, fulfillment, hope. It's through prayer. So that's the first thing I will tell you to do is go to the Lord in prayer. Let that be your first line of defense. Never your last. Number two, practice mindfulness. Focus on the present moment. Acknowledge and accept what you're feeling without judgment. Okay. So a lot of times we tend to be hard on ourselves for some reason. I don't know what it is. We are our worst critics and I'm guilty of this very thing. But a lot of times we don't take the time out to kind of really just sit with our thoughts and our feelings and try to really assess what we're feeling and why. And when we're able to get clarity on that, without judging ourselves, of course, because we need to give ourselves grace at all times because we all are deserving of grace. So give yourself grace, focus on what it is you're feeling in that moment and take some time to process that and figure out what steps you're going to take to combat the feelings. How can I resolve this? How can I turn this around? How can I make this into, turn this into something positive? After you're able to think clearly and have clarity on your situation, then you're able to make the right decisions from there on. Identify the source or what is causing you to hold on to this thing. Why is it that you, it's so hard for you to let go of this abusive relationship or why is it so challenging for you to let go of this job that you consider this dead end job and you're unhappy or this friendship that you've held on to for so long that is no longer serving you, you feel the need to hold on. Why, what is driving and motivating you holding on? That's what you need to identify. Once you can identify what is causing you to hold on, then you can again, take the proper steps to let go and release yourself from that very thing. And through prayer, get the strength to move on and to start making better and healthier decisions. Develop a support system, a tribe, uh, a network, uh, accountability partners, friends, a group of people who are supportive, who love you and want to see the best parts of you shine. The people that can pour into you, the people that can encourage you on your lowest days, the people that can pray for you, the people that are able to encourage you without any sort of judgment. And who will grant you grace? You need people at this time to just pour into your life and to help you through your situation. You just want to make sure that you just have the right people in your life because it's a very vulnerable time. And you want to make sure that the people that you allow in your space and in your life are not doing more harm than good. So you need to establish a support system and a support is exactly what it means. And it doesn't mean you need five, 10, 15 people. Sometimes just one good person that you can actually go to and call when you need a prayer or encouragement or you're feeling really low. It's important to have a support system. Uh, I'd have some form of a, a tribe, individuals who are genuine and kind and loving and has your best interest at heart. That's what you need. Maybe look into getting a life coach to help you to get you from point A to point B. Life coaches, they come clutch. 
We're really good people engaging in self-care. It's important for you to not neglect yourself. I find it's easy for us to neglect or, or physical, emotional, mental state. That means getting enough sleep, eating right, get, having a balanced diet, taking time out for your, your mental, like reading and listening to podcasts that are uplifting and, and self-development podcasts, reading books that talk about self-help and how to just be better and teach you mindfulness and how to make the right decisions, depending on where you are in your life, whether it's your finances that you're struggling with, or whether it is struggling with, uh, on forgiveness or whatever your struggles are, I guarantee there's a book for it. There's a podcast for it, or even YouTube videos, or even just taking time out for yourself, just to love on yourself a little bit extra. Spend some time alone sometimes, just one with your mind to just really focus on what it is that you need to do. Self-love and self-care is not always about, oh, I'm going to get dressed up and I'm just going to go to a restaurant or I'm going to take a staycation or something, which those are really, really good. But Sometimes you have to take care of what's going on internally first because you can do all those extra extra things and it still won't make you feel good. You need to like really address the issue and what's going on on the inside first. So whatever that may require, reading, um, developing a, a strong prayer life, journaling, it's important to take care of yourself first. Next, we talk about therapy. A trained therapist can help you work through complex situations that you're dealing with in your life. They could help you and provide you with tools to help you let go. Tools that can help you to get you from where you feel stuck or you feel like you're helpless and hopeless. You don't have the answers and they can help you with the tools necessary to get better. Therapists are very important because they're able to help you to address some unhealed traumas. I've actually done therapy myself and it has really helped me to get, it helped me to get through some really challenging times. People sometimes think, especially in my community, the black community, we tend to think therapy is such a bad thing. It's so taboo, but therapy is life-changing. It's transformative definitely consider doing therapy. I am a proponent for therapy. Huge therapist helps save lives. Remember that letting go takes time and effort, but it's a process that leads to healing and self-growth. And in order for you to become the best version of you, it requires a healed version of you and it requires growth and hard work. But this is the beginning of the journey, letting go of it all. You owe it to yourself to let go of all the mess and all the hurt and all the pain and all those things that are hold and that are holding you back and have held you back for far too long. You deserve better. You deserve a better life. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to smile again. You deserve to wake up and look forward to a beautiful day. You deserve to meet the best version of you. And it starts with letting go. And today, my prayer for you is that you're able to let go and that you will seek God in this process and seek him on your journey. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you do like this content, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up so that I can know that you enjoy content like this. Until next time, be blessed and have a great day. Bye.